Well, it's high time that I recorded this video because I've entered my 1948 Daimler DE36 into the Auctions America Classic Car Auction in Auburn, Indiana for the 4th of September 2011. If the car sells, then all I'll have to remember her by is this lousy video. So she's a 1948 Daimler DE36 limousine built by the Daimler Motor Company in Coventry, United Kingdom. The DE36 was Daimler's top of the range model competing with marks such as Rolls-Royce and Bentley. So huge car and hugely expensive. Daimler built the frames or chassis, the running gear, the straight eight engine, but the bodies or coachwork were specified by the customer and built by one of the prevailing coach builders of the time, such as Barker or Freestone and Webb or Thrupp and Maberly. This particular car has Hooper coachwork. And an historical curiosity, chassis number 51236, she was Daimler's entry into the 1948 Earls Court Motor Show coach building competition. She won the competition. Now, after World War II, UK was essentially bankrupt, and so there was no Earls Court Motor Show in 46 or 47. So the 48 show was the the first post World War II motor show. In his book Great Marks Cadillac, the author Andrew White states that the bustle back rear end styling of the 1980 to 85 Cadillac Seville, themselves now collectible, was based upon Daimler's entry into that 1948 Earl's Court Motor Show. So here we have it, the actual car and the design inspiration behind the 1980 to 85 Cadillac Seville's. You can see the bustle back rear end styling very clearly. KAR 989, the original British registration. All four doors are rear hinged Americans call them suicide doors. Uh, front fenders are steel and those will have been made by Daimler. Spare wheel covers both sides, glass fiber, but the remainder of the body, certainly from the firewall backwards, is aluminium over an ash frame. So everything hand formed. Inside the car, I spent big money on recovering the leather seats, uh, exact match color, stitching, pleating, just like the originals, bags of rear leg room. And just to, get, just to give you an idea of the clientele for which Daimler was aiming, take a look at um, the interior here. Now the uh, the windows are manual crank but the uh, division between the front and the rear is electrically powered and below the division we have a drinks cabinet in the center and to the right a folding side facing jump seat so imagine that the the servant might be sat here and serving martinis to either his lord and ladyship or perhaps perhaps a rich director of a, of a world famous company and on the left we have a glass topped writing table for his lordship's important correspondence
open the big hood. This is the Daimler 5.4 liter overhead valve straight 8 engine. Huge beast of an engine. Truck like in proportions. It's mated to a Wilson 4 speed pre select transmission, the same type used in the big old Daimler buses in London. And also in the ferret armoured car previously used by the British Army. It's powered by a couple of side draft carburetors. Well, to get this show on the road, the first thing we need to do is to prime the fuel pump, get some fuel to the carburetors. to refinishing in here and the, the headlining is a little smoke stained. Probably everyone smoked in the 40s and 50s. Uh, first thing we need to do is to switch on the electrical power and there's a rotary switch here. Okay, electrical power on. Pull the mixture control which is old-fashioned speak for throttle, uh, for um, choke, ignition on, hold the kick pedal in just in case, and start button. Ah, no. Move the throttle setting on the steering wheel from slow to fast and now let's go for the start Easy as that. 1948 Daimler DE36 limousine, powered by a Daimler 5.4 litre overhead valve straight eight. Thank you for watching.